Hello everybody, welcome to Impressive Image Maker channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a couple years ago for 20, 20th anniversary photo. Well, I have this image, today's subject, and also I made this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop used filter code find edges. Well, I want to make something interesting, something impressive image from these two images. Now, today I'm going to try to use watercolor paint. Well, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to move this layer in between these two and uh, I'm going to tone down of this base image. And let's see. Watercolor round detail. Well, let's see this pencil drawing type image and I'm going to change the blend mode to darken and uh, okay, I'm going to add another layer for background or just base color of the flowers and the hairstyle and skin tones, maybe around well, here. Okay, let's see. Let's try it. Okay, I want to march down. Okay, I'm going to add another layer. Now for hair. Let's see. Yeah, one more layer for background. Now what color is gonna be? Well, now let's see. This is base image. I'm going to tone about 30 to 40% and uh, I'm going to use this pencil drawing type image. Then let me change the blend mode. Well, about 60%. I kind of like this kind of uh, light color illustration type image. Okay, I'm going to fix this image, you know, what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to fix first. I'm going to save this image. Okay, now I got this image saved already once. So, okay, I'm going to select multiple to go the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then duplicate layers now. Merged selected. 
we got one layer of all the images. Now I'm gonna duplicate this, then change blend mode to multiply so it goes darker. Now I'm gonna merge down. We got this, and uh, well, I'm gonna turn this selected multiple one, two, three, four, five watercolor images to put in our folder. Just turn it off. Now we see this base image and also I have this photograph base image, right? Okay, now I wanna just make mask. Create empty mask and just hide some. Yeah, I'm gonna reveal this. I mean, hide. Well, that's good experience. I think I know now. I don't have to use this. Well, we can copy mask, huh? That's good. Okay, copy mask. Then, let's see, turn this one off. Then show this image under. So this is base now. Okay, ungroup layers. Now we all see these images. Then I'm gonna paste mask base image. Okay, then so we have this same mask. Then work on these layers. Like let's say if I turn down this pencil drawing image, you see what I don't wanna see is from this image though. I wanna hide the, like a, let's see, this this kind of hair. All right. Now we can touch up. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna clean up. Now we're talking about touch up. Yeah. Now tone down to 75, 5. Then I'm gonna touch up here. That's nice. And uh, some of here to make it softened up. Now same time I'm gonna use this mask. Okay. Now hide. Alright, okay, working on this mask, okay, now I want to make, now face, and hair is just using mask here, right? Now just illustration I've been making, okay. I'm gonna make mask on this. Okay, create empty mask. Now invert mask. Then I'm gonna reveal this. Hmm, that's interesting, okay. I'm gonna hide here too, this mask. Oh yeah, I'm using this mask. We have this image, but take this out. Okay, well, close. Nice illustration, I like this. I guess that's it for today. I like this, yeah. Real light illustration type image. Well, thank you for watching my video and uh, I hope this movie is gonna give you some kind of idea for your creative work. And uh, 
You guys have a nice day. I really appreciate for you guys' support and uh, see you next time. Bye now. Ciao. Nice.